What's up YouTube? Ian Sandusky back here again with Lex Machine. Today we're going to be reviewing the Carmex Furical Mill Thread Mill. Um, I use this pretty much exclusively for thread milling uh, in any application in my shop here. I really like it, just so you guys know, I'm not paid by any of these companies to advertise these things. Um, I didn't even get this for free, I had to pay for it myself. But uh, just thought I'd make a little video to show you what I think of these cutters, how I use them, and uh, what I think of them. So. Let's go take a look. I want to show you how the inserts go in this thing, how it goes in and out of a holder, and then I'll show you how we program it, all right? Let's go take a look. So as you can see, guys, this is our Carmex um, SRC 0750J18 vertical thread mill. Um, comes with a three quarter inch shank. Uh, it does have through spindle coolant. Uh, we don't have that on any of our machines, so that doesn't really matter to us. This is our insert. Now, the good thing about these kind of um, vertical mill thread mills is that these inserts come on and off. That just uses a Torx T10 um, Torx driver to come on and off there. So you can get different thread profiles. And if you see there, this one is good for, I believe, 1 and 1 16th. Uh, well, anything with a, a 12 um, thread per inch. I believe it's good for between 10 and 13 external or internal and slightly smaller internal. I'll have to check the catalog, but uh, it's nice. I can just buy different inserts for uh, the top. I don't need to replace the whole thread mill. Also, once the insert wears out, you can literally just switch it out. It's not too hard. That's a nice tool though. It works pretty well. So as you can see here, guys, here are the different uh, sets of inserts that come for this thing. They're just, uh, the codes determine which um, threads is gonna be good for. Uh, D60 are slightly smaller than G60, but you know, you'll figure that out as you go. Uh, the Carmex catalog, you can literally go online. We'll go on it in a second to show you how to program these, but it'll tell you exactly what insert to use. Uh, it's just a view of the insert itself. These are all carbide, so they're good for just about everything. Uh, I've never tried them in hardened steel, but I've used them in uh, brass, I've used them in aluminum, I've used them in steel. Uh, I have not used them in any kind of real hard, hard stainless or tough stainless. But uh, I assume it will work just fine. So to program our Carmax thread mill, Carmax actually has a uh, software on their website you can use for free in order to get your helical bore correct. So go in here, click English. It'll just tell you that if you crash your machine, it's your own fault. And you go into rec recommendation of programming. So we're going to do 1 and 1 16th threads. So that's a UN, TPI. We want 12, standard, 101 16th, 12 UN. These are internal threads. Length of thread, we're gonna go one inch. Steel, again, we're just gonna do whatever here. It's not that important. I um, just wanna show you how this goes. Now, the one I have is a vertical mill thread, and you can see the on the right here, you can see the image of it is the same. Now we're going to wait for that to load. And I know I have a J18. So J18, this is the body. Um, this is the body we have. The C18 D60, it's partial profile, so it's only a single point cutter. I like using these because then you get a little more versatility out of it. So we'll select that, hit next. Um, this is just going to calculate the speed and feeds. Uh, I've usually just left it and it's come out pretty okay. Controller, we have a Haas, so we're going to select that. Right hand threads, conventional cutting, program number is fine. Now, this is where you're going to tell it where that tool is in the machine and where the hole is that you're going to be thread milling. It's tool one, H1, D1, that's fine. This does put an automatic um, D value into the program, so you can wear offset it. I find as the tool breaks down, you do need to wear offset it a bit. Uh, we'll just leave zero, zero, zero here so you can see what it does. And here we go. So it'll spit out your code. Um, generally, it always works really well. The only thing, look right here, F80. There's no decimal after this. I've noticed this always does it. Um, you do have to go in and put the decimal in after F80. Otherwise, it will feed extremely slowly. Um, it's feeding at 0.8 as opposed to um, 80 inches a minute. Um, you can copy paste this right into your machine. I found it works pretty well. Okay, let's go take a look at that tool.
There you have it guys, there's our CarMax vertical thread mill. In conclusion, uh, I do recommend these. They're very, very handy. Um, I'll put the link on for the ones I used below here. Um, again, I don't get paid by these guys. I wouldn't recommend it if I don't truly believe in them. I like them. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you have any requests for any uh, tools you want me to take a look at, give a shot at. Any questions you may have, you can always email me directly or leave a comment below. Make sure you like and subscribe below if you want to see more videos. Thanks for hanging out with me. You take care.